what that means is after this type of a uh, movement of the MACD, then the crossover. Welcome. I am Eric with Mother.com and I greet you in the love light of the one infinite creator. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Google and maybe answer a question as to where the possibilities lie as to its next major swing trade direction. All right. What I'm going to begin here, I'm going to begin with this breakout attempt that failed in late January. And what I see here from the RSI is if I draw a line connecting where it had broken down in late December of 2021, which is right here, I can draw a line from there based on my uniformity concept. And you can see that at the end of that week where it was attempting to break out, this week here, where the price closed and the RSI closed, it closed exactly at resistance. So since then, we've seen net net markets been down since that failed weekly breakout attempt. And that makes sense based on the resistance right there. Now that's the RSI. If you take a look at the MACD, we can see that if we draw a line, right here by the time this breakout attempt was taking place take a look at where your MACD was trading your MACD was well below zero so this breakout attempt was we can say not very powerful and because of that you'll see that we've had a pullback since then that makes sense also remember when you are below zero Generally, what the price is telling you is the average move is down. It's an average. So when you're below zero, the average move tends to be down. That's what the, RS, the MACD is saying. Which brings me to a question we can ask that on this weekly chart, if there's going to be movement higher, then as I've been saying over the last couple of videos and based on my MACD research, it would need to clear these highs of the MACD. That would be the first minimum requirement. Movement above this area here is needed for prices to recover. Otherwise, we can say below this area, prices are going to be sideways to down. Hope that makes sense. Oh, and by the way, if I take a look at the other MACD, we can see that it is approaching that zero MACD line. And so from a bearish standpoint, then movement below this zero line is going to continue pushing prices lower. And at the same time, if you're looking for a bullish scenario, it is still there in the coming weeks. If the following happens, we get this turning around, moving back above Mac D zero line and this crossover taking place and all of this with the Mac D moving back above zero with the uniform action that would indicate the possibility has increased for a price recovery. Now this is the weekly. If we take a look at the daily, so daily here and this is for google.com or alphabet. Okay, so can't help myself, but I can see there's a need to touch on something here. This break point, again, the uniformity concept is a concept by yours truly sharing with you freely. And we can see here, if I extend this break point, guess what? Perfect. Uniform activity above the line back below it for a reversal before all this. Right here. I remember this. Uniformity concept is a concept I came across many years ago, and it amazes me how it continues to work. <laughs> now, that's one way to look at it. If we take a look at the current daily formation here, I'm going to draw a line connecting this top right here. And there's a top right there, and I'm going to extend it out. It's going to be something like that. 
And what we get here is an insight into the short term resistance here at that blue line. We come close there, not to the line, but close to it. And then over the last couple of days, we've hit that line twice. So again, we can see from the RSI, what we can study here and understand is still the momentum is still pressing down. It's going to take movement at the very least above this green line, which was the prior top side resistance line. So this here was the breakout line now turned into resistance. That's the RSI. And I remember I'm summarizing this just to keep the video at a manageable length. But I wanted to take a look at the MACD because, but before I do that, let me move the MACD so we can also see price and appreciate all these movements. So let's take this. All right. Now, what I wanted to mention, because it's a perfect example, is remember in the prior videos and in my MACD series on my playlist on my YouTube channel, I talk about crossovers above zero from a bearish standpoint. So a crossover above zero is not as reliable. But that's just summarizing it. Here we have a perfect example. If you see a MACD that has the longest movement. Now, if you take a look at this MACD movement here, it's the longest movement on this one year daily chart. There's no other movement as long as this period here, right here. What that means is after this type of a movement of the MACD, then the crossover, even above zero, is going to be more reliable. And why? Because the average, this move was so big relative to recent movement that any crossover would be more successful. That's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is consider where you have a range. So we can say that the range of the MACD has been in this range for a while or was in this range for a while. Now notice a couple of things here or the main takeaway from this is a crossover above the range is going to be more reliable, which is this area here. Crossover that is outside of the range is more reliable, which is this entry period here. Hope that makes sense. All right. Now, let me conclude with what we see here on the MACDs. So, if you take a look at price, we see price is trading below the 50-day and the 200-day moving average. So, even from that understanding, we can just gleam the idea that net-net, there's a little bit of a remnant of a bearish feel and potential. Now, if you take a look at the MACD, we also see the possibility of forming move above the zero line and back below it with uniform action. So if this is confirmed as uniform action above zero and back below it, that is a reversal signal. At the same time, if we take a look at my other MACD setting, which should be close to the default MACD setting, we can see that if and when the stock is going to be primed to recover, it's going to have to clear this recent MACD high. So let me show you that high. There was a crossover attempt here that failed. That becomes the level it needs to clear before it can move higher. So all you have to do is be patient. It can take weeks and months, but it is more reliable at some future standpoint when it clears this area for there to be a recovery. It would also be similar to that movement above the top of the recent um, MACD high right there. So movement above that is also required if there's going to be recovery. So in the short term, we can see that as long as both MACDs are below zero, the momentum is clearly to the X direction. And I'll let you answer that. But it should be self-evident. And so it is. I am EricWithMother.com and I leave you, beloveds, in the love light of the one infinite creator. Go forth rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Namaste. All right.
you're still here. Now remember, when I'm recording these videos, I can only touch on a few things given the fact that I don't want the video to be too lengthy. So if you're interested in getting breakouts for US stocks, ETFs, and for cryptos, take a look. I have a free 30 day trial. Come in, take a look and see whether my service resonates with you. And so it is. Namaste.